Hi there, what's up? So, welcome to English. <laughs> yeah, I know, weird situation, right? Like, super weird. This is like a science fiction movie. But uh, even if we were in a science fiction movie, you wouldn't get rid of me that easily. I mean, I'm, I'm, your, worst, I'm your worst nightmare right now, and I'm everywhere. Um, you, you can find me on, in, in, in Zest Academy. Well, you can find me here, in, in the comfort of your home, speaking on your laptop. So, yeah, from now on, we are going to have lessons this way. We're going to have, um, oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have received my email, but just in case, if you are here just um, because somebody told you that I'm making videos now, well, we all, we all are, I mean, all, 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 all teachers at CEST are, are making videos. So, if you have not received my email, please let me know, okay, um, let, let me know and, and I can add you to to the to the email list so um what we are going to do is we are uh making these kind of short videos that's my intention okay promise i promise i want this to be short so um we're making short videos explaining the new things uh new stuff new content and uh we're making we, we're assigning homework so you're going to have homework like regular homework but you're also going to have um uh, kind of project okay we were doing something about a movie if you remember i know some of you don't have the movie i know some of you haven't watched the movie so you can forget about the movie altogether we can speak about the movie when we are uh, at class again so so far we, we don't need the movie that movie the one that was called something like the quiet hour or something like that forget about the movie okay we are not working with that we are going to do something different different projects something more small some, something that is like shorter smaller something that is more you know convenient for all of us i think so today uh today we are going to start a new unit <laughs> yeah and we're going to see uh future tenses i'm going to give you in these uh five to ten minutes five i mean like five different tenses okay so we're going to start with the three ones that you should already know, which are will, going to, and the present continuous. I'm going to put you some very basic, basic, basic examples over here. All right, so you have these three tenses. Okay, you have will, as in, for example, I will become an astronaut. I don't know if you guys can read this well, but anyway, if you can't, you can, you can pause and you can read it. Take your time. You also have going to. Which is, for example, I am going to. I don't see it. Okay, I'm going to. I am going to watch a film tonight, because you know you you can see it well, but in, in on, on my screen it's it's reversed, so it's it's kind of crazy. So every time every time I'm reading this, I'm I'm making weird stuff in my mind. Okay, remember that. So yeah, that's going to. And present continuous is I am finishing. I am finishing in a moment. Okay, I'm finishing in a moment. So you have three different senses. You have will, which is Super easy to do, you just use will, I, I, will, whatever, you, will, whatever, she, will, whatever, my sister, will, whatever, you just use will in the positive, uh, won't in the negative, which is will not, okay, going to is also super easy, you just need the, the present simple, or the, uh, the present simple of the verb to be, for example, I am, I am, you are, he, she is, you know that, and uh, going to, and then the verb, okay, I am going to, whatever. Okay, this is super easy. And now the present continues, you already know, you just use the present simple of the verb to be, I am, you are, his, and the verb with ing. Okay, now what's the practical difference between these three? You use will when you speak about a distant future. Okay, I will become an astronaut. When? I don't know. I mean, I have no idea of when I will become an astronaut, but I want to, and I am sure that I will. So, I just say, I will become an astronaut. When? I don't know. In the distant future. That's my intention. Okay? Going to. Going to is a distant future, but it's nearer. Okay? It's like, it's going to happen soon. It's not something that is immediate. It's not something that is, that is like super distant. It's halfway in the middle. Okay? So let's call it a middle near future. Something that is in the future, but not very in the future. So you say going to. I am going to watch a movie this tonight. It's tonight, right? Ooh, tonight. 
So I'm going to watch a movie tonight. Maybe this speaker, the person who says this, it's like、uh, maybe now it's、mm, I don't know six、uh, p.m. Okay, so tonight makes reference to ten, eleven p.m. Maybe so it's four hours. It's the future. Yeah, it is the future, but it's not a distant future. It's not near because it's six p.m. So it's a middle middle future, right? Present continuous, on the other hand, is super recent. It's like the moment I finish saying this, this will happen. So when I finish the sentence. This will happen. For example, I am finishing in a moment. Okay, is this person finished? No, he or she is finishing now. Okay, so I am finishing means I will finish this activity in like ten seconds. Okay, so you cannot use will because will is the future, right? Like super distant future. You want something that is near, going to. No, I want it nearer, super near. So that's the present continuous. I am finishing in a moment, just a moment. What is a moment? Two seconds. Okay, so that's the present continuous. The moment you say this, it happens. So that's the present continuous. A typical example is、uh, the verb move. Okay, you know move. Move is not only to move objects, but when you、uh, change your house, you move. Okay, so you say I am moving tomorrow. Okay, because it's going to happen like like now. Okay, you the present continuous is this. You you say this and it happens. Okay, present continuous. I don't know if you guys hate the clicking sound. I myself hate it. So when I when I have to do it, it's like、oh, I hate the sound. But well, anyway,、uh, more examples of will going to. Will ah、uh, now I don't see shit. Ah,、uh, she will speak to the press. Every Saturday, good. <laughs> I I wish I had time to to cut the videos and and not do the full, but yeah, I don't I don't have time. I'm sorry. She will <laughs> she will speak to the press um every Saturday. So with will now we are going to we are speaking about a future that is not only distant but also repet repetitive. Okay, it's going to happen every Saturday. So if you go to Saturday in two thousand and fifty one, this will happen. So you use will. Because it's like the super distant future. Going to, on the other hand, is nearer. Okay, so when, so then you then you have, she is going to fail. She never studies. Okay, so the consequence of her never studying is her failing, right? Present continuous, which is like super near future. He's coming with us. The context is, hey Joe, hey ah、uh, Susan Joe. Ah,、uh, Peter, let's go to the cinema. Oh, have you have you told your brother? Yes, he's coming with us. Does this mean that this person is already on the way? He's not on the way, but he will be on the way, like in ten seconds, right? So he's coming with us means that this person is going to come with us now. Okay, so he's coming. He's coming with us. We drag this verb into the present using the present continuous. Okay. More examples. Ah,、uh, you cannot complain about examples. I'm bringing you a lot. So, will ah,、uh, we can skip lessons. We can skip lessons. Nobody will know. We also use will when we don't know the exact time of the future. That's very important. Okay. Don't think of will only as a super distant future. It can also be. Something that you don't know when it's gonna happen. Remember the astronaut thing, okay? So you don't know when this is going to happen. So you use will. Nobody will know, and you're referring to the future, like in abstract, okay? In the future. Good. Going to. Are you going to start cooking or what? I'm hungry. Okay. Are you going to start cooking? So I'm hungry. I want you to. I want you to cook. Uh, I don't want you to cook like right now, but come on, start cooking. Okay, so are you going to start cooking? Present continuous. I'm coming. I'm on my way. It is so so dragged into the present that we can even forget about the I'm thing. You can say coming. Okay, you can say coming. That's a very、uh, typical sentence in English. When you say、uh, I'm on my way, you say coming, coming instead of I am coming. Okay, that is like the longer version. And the last slide with with、uh, examples, which is the most difficult one too. Nintendo won't release a new device. Okay, again, I'm going to give you five seconds to think if this sentence refers to a distant future 
or to something that we don't know when it's going to happen. If you think that this refers to something that you don't know when it's going to happen, you're right, okay? This doesn't refer to a distant future. You are speaking about the future in general, in abstract. Nintendo will not release. Does this mean that Nintendo won't release a new device ever, ever again? No, it means that Nintendo doesn't have plans to, 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 to release a new device like in the future. Okay, but uh, when when it does, when when Nintendo has plans, they will let you know. So you don't know when it's going to happen. So you say will in the future. Okay, going to. Uh, I can see anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna clean the floor after lunch. Good. So another thing that you already know is that going to can also be used as gonna. Now I have I I've written gonna here just to let you know just to let you know how how, how it's spelled. But it shouldn't be uh written unless it is in informal language. Okay. You don't want to use gonna in formal language, although we are using it these days a lot. But well, in any case, do not. Okay, it's it's more common to use. It's 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 better just to use going to. Okay, uh, now like eighty five percent of the time in English we don't say going to, we say gonna. 